Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Attack on Titan the final season part 2 episode number 2. Okay the previous episode it was the beginning of the final season uh, part 2 of this anime and uh, we start with seeing that Zeke is alive. Uh, he came back and he is again like you know like you know trying to find Eren again and uh like he has also met up with the jaegerists and oh and levi levi is still okay hopefully uh hanji has taken him and like you know uh, ran out of that place so i'm sure they'll be fine hopefully uh and at the same time like you know like at, uh Eren and uh peak and like you know the whole thing with galliard was also happening galliard versus Eren. peak takes gabi goes away gabi is fine and he like you know gabi meets up with the other members of you know his like you know her um you know of, of malians uh, and uh you know reiner comes in like it's full-on war galliard and reiner versus Eren ha starts happening he gets ready with an artillery uh thing and just shoots Eren through the head now Eren was kind of like you know like very much rattled but uh, he still tried to like you know attack them, but because Galliard and Reiner is still there, he he's being like you know suppressed. And at the same time, there Onyankopon uh, takes out um, no not takes out but brings out uh, all the uh, characters that they have in prison. For example, Mikasa, Con um, Connie, uh, uh, all of them. And then he asks them for help. Connie kind of lashes out, but Armin thinks that. Eren is doing this so that he can use Zeke, you know, uh, not the other way around, them not using him, but he is actually using them, which I'm still not sure, you know, we'll have to wait for that. I'm still not sure about it because as far as my understanding goes, uh, the conversation between Zeke and Eren looked pretty honest enough. I thought that Eren really did want it to go along with the euthanization plan. I don't know why but i felt like that like that is something that n would probably do but who knows maybe armin is right you know but yeah we'll have to wait for that and mikasa is still struggling with her own thing she's thinking that oh is this because i'm the akarman that i'm just you know concerned for him or this and that like you know stuff so yeah that's happening there and Aaron is in trouble here and uh yeah we don't know what's going to happen now let's see what happens how Aaron gets out of this problem and you know like if if whether zeke comes in or not let's see so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number two of attack on titan the final season part two so i'll be putting putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started <clears throat> all right here's the countdown three two one go Oh boy. Yeah, she she does say that she gets a headache. Like that thing's kind of weird. I don't know. I'm I'm still uh Like I understand, I understand the army's reasoning. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, no one's convinced fully, at least. Ha <laughs> 
Hmm. Yeah, and everyone will be screwed. If if he's something happens to him, well, paradise is gone. That's it. Because, I don't know, because he does not want them to get more. No, I don't. Because he doesn't want them to get more tied. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's just a disease that he has, she has. Yeah, why are we equating the headaches with her being an Ackerman? Like, that might be just her own, like, you know, problem or some disease she has or something. All right. Okay. Well, here we go. Oh. Oh, what's he doing? Oh. What? Oh, okay. <coughs> oh, nice. There you go. <coughs> wow, in one shot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh my god, he he grabbed hold of his upper jaw. Oh, oh. What's happening? Oh my god. Did he just Oh. There you go. I think, yeah, he was screaming because of that. I was saying, I was just saying in the previous episode, he must be calling someone. It was Zeke or something. <laughs> All right. Thank God. Reinforcements are here. <laughs> Never thought I'd be happy to see Zeke again before. <laughs> uh, uh.
All right. Okay. Sneak attack. Okay, I don't know. Oh, sneak attack. Maybe uh, the survey corpse. All right, here we go. Time to throw. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Nice. That takes care of the flying things. He can just shoot you down before that. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, he can dodge. She can easily dodge. Okay. Okay, nice. Well, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, we're kind of getting back up little by little. Things are looking okay now. Um, don't leave her alone because, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, he, he's like not on the way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Shut up. Go home. <laughs> well. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Damn, these people are really not accustomed to fighting titans. Like, oh boy.
Oh, this girl, um, the one who she saved. Hmm. Okay. Wow, like we started with so many now look at just like like five of them, four of them left. <laughs> wow, this girl. She she's in her own world. <laughs> like both the brothers are here, she's so happy. Look at her. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <coughs> now here's the thing. Okay. Um Okay. <coughs> oh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. 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 Cover fire, thank god. <laughs> yeah. But we shouldn't... Oh yeah, that... Hmm. What? Whoa! Wait, what? Okay, this girl, yo, she... <laughs> that freaked me out. What the? Oh my god, these are the... Oh boy, they don't even know how to fight. Bro. Oh. Hmm. Well... Time to go home. Okay, don't shoot unnecessarily, please. Oh no. But I guess... Uh, okay. Alright, thank god. Okay. Yeah, for the first time, I think. Oh, wait. Ah, well... Sasha's family.
That's what happens. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, that that's like okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Hmm. Whoa! That's a death flag. Please. Um. <laughs> Ah! What? <sighs> Would it? I don't know. Let's see. Hopefully. Okay. Oh no! Okay, oh. Ah. Whoa. Yeah. I feel like Aaron's gonna do something else. I don't know. The way he's moving. Wait, what happened? I don't think so. What? What? Yeah, what? No. I think that's something else. Great. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Oh, but... Oh! God. Oh no, no more cover fire. This is a problem. Okay, he falls. Okay, come on, Aaron. Ah, oh, yeah, it's a long distance. <coughs> the scream. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Falco is oh god. Within the range. Not only Falco but um Nile as well, I think. Oh
my god i don't know how this where this is going <laughs> but yeah we like still some questions with Eren's motives like the plan that Eren and Zeke came up with is something that I think I don't know I feel like that is something that Eren would actually do uh, like the plan really suits something that Eren would think of that's why I was always convinced that, yeah, like, Eren and Zeke came up with that plan together. And, you know, he's going to make that come true. But now I don't know, like. Okay. But now I don't know, you know why? Because uh, first of all, Armin said the whole thing. Number second is like, they're coming like, you know, Eren and Zeke are coming close to each other, which Zeke thinks that because yeah, yeah, he wants to like, you know, come in contact with him. Otherwise, like, you know, it won't start. But I feel like this, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's some other plan he has. Like, <laughs> Armin's words kind of like messed with us now I think like you know like now we're thinking maybe maybe there's something else he's actually thinking like up until Armin said anything you know in, in the first episode before that like I was convinced that yeah Aaron and Zeke like you know they're in together in the plan and they are actually trying to do like you know what they have initially planned to do as the euthanization plan that's what they're trying to do as the end result um, <clears throat> and I was convinced of that but then comes the first episode of the final part, uh, uh, final season part two, and Armin says that, and then like from there onwards, I'm thinking maybe he's right or something. Like you know, Armin, Armin has all the time probably, like you know, most probably all the time, Armin has been right. So maybe this time he's also right. You know, maybe this is an attempt for Eren to do something else while tricking both Zeke and all the others. Uh, who knows? We'll see. But yeah, okay, um, this episode we um, start with Mikasa and the group where Armin, like, you know, the, as we can see, like, you know, the Armin was talking with them and everything and can, trying to convince them to, like, you know, go and help Eren. <clears throat> so by the end of it, uh, Reiner, Connie, all of them are like, you know what? Yeah, let's go. Like, um, you know, we, like, even if, like, even if, you know, like, uh, what can I say? Uh, what did they say? Oh, yeah, uh, they say that, yeah, um, that uh, we need to, like, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, we need to, like, you know, keep Aaron alive so that we can hit him or something. Like, you know, Connie said something like that. Like, I, I, I need to punch him so that he needs to be alive for that. <laughs> and then... And Reiner says about his own thing of like, you know, like he knew that Aaron was crazy from the beginning, but <laughs> you know, like he, he liked the way he did stuff. He was cool. So he envied that, all that stuff. And that's why, you know, like they want to make, keep him alive. Mikasa is still struggling. You know, Mikasa is still struggling with her thing. And here's the thing. Um, the, uh, <clears throat> Armin says that uh, the headache, all of us knew from the beginning me and Aaron, both of us so we knew you had this headache occasional headaches so maybe Aaron just take took advantage of that used that and made you uh think that it is because of those headaches that you are like you know and you're an ackerman and that's why because of that you are actually like you know helping me out not because you are my friend but because of that sense of responsibility or whatever you know, because they're an Ackerman. Uh, maybe he just used that. And yeah, now that I think about it, like maybe there is to like, you know, like all this time I've been thinking, like, um, uh, like, what can I say? Like, you know, like when, when he, Mikasa was talking about the headache, I was thinking that, yeah, like then what is that headache then? Like, you know, like if Mikasa really is uh, doing all of this on, in her own will, then why is the headache, headache coming? That kind of made me think like maybe that headache really is something that is related to her being an Ackerman or something and that's why she's helping Aaron like I was kind of thinking about that like 
in, in that way as well. But as Armin says, like, you know, in, in today's episode, just as Armin says that Eren knew about the headache from the beginning and like, you know, we, we knew that you had this problem. It kind of struck me. I'm like, wait a minute, like the headache can be something else completely. Like, you know, maybe, maybe it's just like a thing that he, she has, you know, from her childhood, like, you know, like you get occasional headaches, like maybe it's some sort of a new illness or something, who knows, maybe something minor. And, you know, like just because she is an Ackerman, equating that with the headache doesn't make sense. And like you know like and that's why i'm like yeah maybe 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 the headache has nothing to do with it maybe that's just a normal headache you know and uh yeah i i think that's probably it because who knows yeah that's that's most probably it maybe Aaron just took advantage of that and tried to um uh you know uh and said that to mikasa during that that episode uh and now the question here is um when mikasa asks then why does did Eren do this like you know, why did he try to push us away from everything uh why did he say that he hates me uh armin gets a little flashback over there where he remembers Eren saying that uh out like you know over there on the other side of this uh, ocean those there are our enemies so if we kill them will we be free like that scene um and then he kind of realizes something i don't know what he realizes there but <clears throat> i don't know like the the most common thing that i can think of at least for trying to uh like, you know like distance mikasa and armin for him from himself is because he wants to take everything on his own that's the most common thing that i can come up with I don't know um, because I think that's that's the only viable reason I can feel like you know he just wants them to be somewhere yeah like I feel like that is probably the reason because you know like Aaron has lost a lot of people from the beginning so he you know maybe he just thought in his own twisted manner he thought that you know what let's just like you know like tell them like these bunch of lies and uh, you know make uh, some kind of a group and just imprison them somewhere safe and let me just handle all of the things maybe he just thought of this and he just did that you know like he just beat armin up like you know and uh <clears throat> you know, just rounded uh his friends up uh put them in a prison and decided to handle all the things himself uh yeah maybe maybe it's just that maybe that's his plan <laughs> okay anyways um that was that then uh we get to the fight uh, like you know fighting again like you know Aaron is struggling peak is attacking and <clears throat> reiner is trying to kill Aaron, and reiner is saying that yeah you've done enough just like you know rest but as always like you know Aaron is like you know still struggling he somehow is able to just you know whack not whack but kind of what did he do he just yeah he just he put his like you know his hands in the upper jaw of reiner and my god that was something just you know, he I, I thought i for a moment i thought he he just took off his head or something or a part of his upper jaw like i, I wouldn't be uh, surprised if he just took off his upper jaw but his armor tightened for a reason you know so yeah, he just was able to damage him for a little bit, but that was enough because in comes the Beast Titan and he has been screaming for, for that long because of that, I think. Maybe he just wanted uh, Zeke to know that, yeah, I'm in trouble, come quickly or something like that. Mm. So yeah, like, okay, and then Zeke coming helped us in a huge manner, you know, like, yeah, so Zeke comes in where is it and zeke starts sh <laughs> throwing rocks as he usually does <laughs> all the air you can know, air support girl just goes down and then like you know as soon as it uh, it can like because he he's like you know he's a master baseball thrower <laughs> so yeah and <clears throat> all the uh th those uh, airships or whatever they're called i don't know they go down 
all the people who were shooting from a distance long range they are now have having to fight zeke as well and normal foot soldiers obviously can't do anything to a titan so they were in big trouble uh, peak as well was in a little bit of trouble because <coughs> because uh zeke again is as i said like it's a long range shooter so long range versus long range yeah if you know if, if done properly you can defeat another long range so uh peak also has to like take care of uh what can i say like her defenses because zeke is shooting at her and peak does dodge and all the what do you call them uh all the jaegers they also come in so it, it started looking as like it started feeling as if everything's going to go okay you know because uh since zeke cannot go and close the distance towards peak the jaegers are there and obviously peak cannot do much things because she's carrying the cart and the cart with the artillery on top of it where Magath is there uh it's like a long range shooter you cannot just defeat someone who is in in the in, you know in front of you you cannot do that so basically what you have to do is Magath has to come down and use the foot soldiers to like you know to fight the uh, jaegerists but you know like uh, the Jaegerists are also like you know capable enough so I was thinking like yeah everything's going to get wrapped up pretty soon here but something else happens which happens later on I'll talk about it later but yeah okay and um, then we suddenly like you know shift to the other scene where we see uh, Nile and uh, Falco talking with each other and we see uh, Mikasa and, and her group coming out, uh, helping out all the other people who were imprisoned as well. Pixis is there, and all the garrison, like you know, corpse and uh, I think wh what was the other one? The, the the royal the royal group. I forgot their name. Uh, uh, the group who uh, serves the royal crown or something. The one with the you know, the, the the group that uh, Reiner wanted to be uh, not Reiner sorry uh John wanted to become in, in in the beginning that group you know that group and the uh the other group the garrison group you know they they are all like you know getting ready to fight and obviously they are not accustomed to this at all <clears throat> like I guess the garrison uh you know like the the, the group they are at least kind of accustomed to fighting titans a little bit but obviously not the people who are you know in the in the you know inner you know like serving the royal crown they are not accustomed to this at all so they're just like you know when when pixies was giving the little uh uh speech they were all like scared stiff and just standing there <laughs> my god oh boy but yeah and uh mikasa like and then we see mikasa like them getting ready them coming out and seeing that everything is in ruins like just zeke is destroying everything yelena is just happy because both the brothers are here and uh, yeah and okay okay and then there's like this okay let's read this the the middle portion information available for public disclosure paris island surprise attack the goal of the surprise attack is to retake the founding titan it's unknown what c conditions must be met to activate the founding titan's power therefore it's critical to secure the founding titan before its power can be used okay all right makes sense <clears throat> okay so <laughs> and then <laughs> mikasa's group they're they're seeing everything happening and they're like oh my god like what's happening here it, it looks like it looks like reiner needs more help than <laughs> zeke and aaron and now here's the thing that i don't really like like suddenly Armin starts saying that okay we don't have much choice only Zeke and Aaron can save the world wait like I'm like wait what like you know what really confused me here like that line I was really confused I was like like <laughs> I don't know like um who knows like i i don't know i i, I can't probably put my finger in it but i feel like 
Armin suddenly saying this is kind of weird, isn't it? Like suddenly saying that we don't have much choice, only only Zeke and Eren can save the world, like this line especially. Like anyways, um yeah, like this this line really kind of it kind of surprised me. I was surprised from the beginning. And then what happens? Okay, he says that we're gonna help the Jaegers and bring them together. Like And um, I, I, it, it took me a little while to actually understand what was happening here. Like as <laughs> Mikasa and Jun freaked out, <laughs> Armin looked up, and oh my God, Yelena's face. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this would be. <laughs> oh my God, this. I, I, I feel like this should be like in some kind of a horror manga. Like, you know, like what, what face is this? Like. <laughs> It feels like he's going, she's going to eat him or something. Like, she looks like a titan. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I don't understand. Why did she make this face? But Armin was saying something good, wasn't he? he? He was saying that, yeah, only Zeke and Eren could do something. You know, like, let us help them. So, I don't understand. Why did she make this face? Like, she was supposed to be happy, but but she then after that she her face kind of <laughs> I'm laughing because I feel like I see, I'm seeing like Armin is just looking flabbergasted at Yelena. <laughs> and then Yelena like starts smiling. Uh, with a beautiful smile with a little blush in her cheek, you know, a little teardrop. And <laughs> she's like, please help me, Zeke and Eren, I believe in you. Oh my god. You know what Yelena reminds me of? Yelena reminds me of some kind of an overbearing mother. You know, like, if she, I feel like that. Like, you know, like those type of mother who were just you know, so, like, you know, proud of their children. And they're like, oh, my two sweethearts. Like, you know, like, <laughs> they're going to do this, they're going to do that. They'll be the, like, you know, savior of this world, this and that. And if someone, like, you know, badmouths their uh, children in front of them, the face that they make is the face we saw here, you know, like the face that comes from a horror manga. And then like, you know, like again, like she, she's saying that, oh, please help Zeke and Aaron out. I believe in you. Like, yeah, she, I, I feel like she, she's like that overbearing, overprotective, psychotic mother. You know, like Yelena for Aaron and Zeke. My God. And like, I don't understand why she made that face over there. Like, Armin was saying something good. I feel like. Like, what what made her so angry there? Like, did, did the thing that, like, Armin said that, yeah, we need to help him, them out. Like, did he, did she think that, oh, like, is Armin saying that they are not capable enough to handle this on their own? Was that what made her angry or was it something else? Or was that just like, I don't know. It, it still makes no sense, but anyways, like it, it, she, it does seem like she's happy by the end of it. She's like, "Oh, please help Aaron and Zeke out. I believe in you." <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Armin is like, "Okay, <laughs> I won't go. I, I won't be close to this lady <laughs> ever again in this future." My god, like what was that? Okay. <laughs> That was the most freakiest part of this episode. Like, I don't know why. Oh my god, it, it happened so quickly and... Like, you know, so unusually. Like, I was not expecting that. My god. <laughs> okay, anyways. um, And then, okay, the next scene, Falco and all of them are coming out. Gabi, they notice Falco and Nile takes Falco <clears throat> to them. And just, you know, like, lets them leave. And yeah, they, they try to get out of that place. Uh, uh, Gabby hears, you know, uh, Sasha's family talking about her and how the other girl, I forgot her name, uh, the girl, the girl who was friendly with Gabby uh, before she knew that Gabby killed uh, Sasha. That girl, you know, like saying that, oh, like, I wish I could kill her, this and that happening and here's where Gab Gabi realizes like it's you know what, what the sad thing is here like it's good that Gabi realizes that yeah like these are not you know devils 
they're just normal human beings this has just been happening over and over and again and we are just continuing this cycle you know what is sad about this whole situation is that it actually takes someone to die for a person to actually realize what is wrong with this thing like for example um uh you know gabi gabi didn't like you know didn't understand anything and didn't even try to uh think about or you know try to understand all of these people he, she just like you know uh in one way she just just called the everyone devils and just didn't trust them and thought that yeah they should be killed this and that you know uh it, she she was just like that from the beginning and after she killed someone and after she came in what do you call it uh contact with the harsh truth that yeah this is something that is actually happening like a cycle and it won't end until someone ends it like she realizes all after that that yeah these are not devils these are just human beings and this is just a cycle that is a cycle of hatred that's just continuing and it's going to continue in the future as well and it all takes is everything it takes is like like it, it takes someone's death for someone to actually realize that gavi as well you know she she took sasha's life she came in contact with uh, the girl the blonde haired girl i forgot her name and she realized all after that when she, that girl tried to kill her she realized that yeah i also killed someone who is close to her and seeing that she gets that like you know included when she also gets included in the cycle of hatred the blonde haired girl that's when she realizes that yeah this is just a cycle like this won't end with me this is going to continue and she realizes a little a little bit too late now what's actually going to happen here is i don't know but there is a prospect of that happening is the blonde haired girl she's also going to start in another like you know walking that cycle of hatred she won't understand you know she won't understand anything she's just going to be hateful <coughs> would want vengeance towards you know gabi and people like you know and gabi's people and the marlians and she's going to go on her own vengeance thing and probably something similar is also again going to happen in her life as well where who knows maybe she's also going to come in contact with someone else's death and then realize after everything is over that yeah this is just a cycle of hatred but it'll be again too late you know like like people understand their fault but it's too late you already like you know like when they realize it they have already made another victim and that victim like carries on that thing that that torch or that big baton you know the baton of hatred or whatever um like she you have already passed it and then you realize that you would you have done something wrong like it, it 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 wouldn't help you need to realize before you pass that baton you need to realize that first and then unless and until that happens this is going to continue when there a person will come who will realize this before passing the baton that's the time i think this cycle of hatred could be stopped only otherwise it can couldn't be stopped if you keep passing on the baton it it couldn't be stopped so yeah you need to realize before you pass the baton uh yeah but who knows yeah okay anyways um so gabi realizes you know her mistake he realizes where falco came from he realizes she realizes where uh, reiner was coming from all that stuff and she feels regret and Falco takes <laughs> this opportunity to just confess everything to her and like, you know it talks about marriage and everything like damn <laughs> oh my god uh. <laughs> okay but yeah and <laughs> and then <laughs> Gabi doesn't say anything he just snatches off the the wrist arm wrist uh, sorry what am i even saying the wrist band or whatever and just like you know says like yeah come with me and they try to get out of that place but 
yeah okay and then peaks we see peaks plan you know like that's i think that's the same plan that Aaron kind of did a long time ago not plan but it's like the same scenario you know when in the first season Aaron had that that bony structure <laughs> that thing uh you know when when everyone tried to like you know shoot him using that cannonball it kind of reminded me of that scene but yeah anyways it's a, it's a different scene it's a completely different thing but still it reminded me of that but yeah um <clears throat> like you know the the arm uh not armor the bony structure you know the bony uh, uh remains of peak was there everyone was like oh peak is dead and i don't know why the jaegerists were so quick to just jump into conclusion that peak is dead i don't know why like she's a titan for goddamn sake like what are you guys even doing and they just let their guard down over there so and peak was just you know un underneath that <laughs> that thing <laughs> and uh like zeke and everyone just let down their guard at that moment because they thought that peak since peak is not there anymore um you know uh what's his name uh, uh magath cannot do anything but yeah, that was what uh, like, you know, gave them the opportunity. Maga just shot. Um, Zeke fell down. And uh, our Eren is still trying to get there. Gabi, uh, Falco, all of them are moving. And it, it does, it is implying, they are implying it that probably in the next episode, Zeke is going to uh use his his scream or shout and hopefully nothing happens to i don't know like if if he uses his uh shout or scream you know like uh falco is definitely turning into a titan uh so kind of a yeah, uh, I, I really hope nothing happens to him, <laughs> to Falco, because the way he was saying everything in this episode, that was a full on death flag, like just talking about the future, like never talk about the future in, in, in a situation like that. You're going to die. You know, like that's why I'm kind of con concerned as to what's going to happen to the next episode. Uh, anyways, uh, like no need to think much about it because next week i'm sure we'll get our answers and hopefully it's something good but yeah okay so that was it that was my reaction to episode number two of attack on titan the final season part two so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of attack on titan the final season part two reaction so until then goodbye and have a nice day